name is Malashi. I'm Beverly, and welcome to Keeping It Desilient. So we wanted to bring out a new series for you guys where we will touch base on topics, give you guys advice, and answer any questions you guys are curious about. We went on Instagram Live earlier today so we can have people access questions. If you guys <laughs> want to know our Instagrams and anything else where you could access questions and also tell us about topics or want us to speak upon topics, go down below and you should see it. Make sure you subscribe. This is my little sister. This right. is our little sister. She will be starting her YouTube channel very, very soon. Uh, so pretty much we'll uh, do Keeping Up Desilient every time we include our little sister. Okay. Alright, let's get started in these questions, honey. So we're going to start with um, how long have you been natural? But um, I would say I've been natural since um, my sophomore year of high school. Probably about seven years ago. And I've been natural for about the three years. Um, <coughs> Oh, 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 okay. Okay, so, <laughs> so um, I actually went, went natural last year around July. That's when I actually cut off all, all my perm ends and look at my hair. I got a handful of hair. Like, like, I forgot to say this, but like I was natural for seven years, but I just recently cut my hair probably like last year. So I've been fully natural again for a year and some change. Thank you for the information. So next question, first fight. I think we means no, keep you blow right? First fight amongst each other. I mean, we fight all the time. We're like, I guess I'm just going to take that question as that. Can I say a story of what happened? It wasn't like a school fight. I've never been into no fight. Oh, my sisters, I remember they used to drag me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's probably why my hair grows so fast because they would pull uh, my hair follicle. Oh, um, <laughs> listen, okay, before we take that story and run with it, yeah, we, we, didn't, like we didn't really. We didn't Dragger, let's say that, okay? Um, you know, siblings are they touch your stuff and do this, and then you tell them no, they don't listen. Oh, let's keep it gazillion for real because right. look, I was not touching your stuff at that age. I had no makeup on, I didn't even okay, have to be made. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Her and my cousin used to bully me. Okay, okay we're, we're not talking about bullying. first bullying, we're talking about first fight. Anyways, next question Have you number. ever been stopped? Actually, yeah, these people are creepos. Always keep a taser or a pepper spray with you because. Yeah. As far as like stalking for the day, yes. I mean, I've had yeah. times when I go to grocery stores, people would stalk me up and down the grocery store. Right, that's like weird. that's so weird. I see you there. I, I notice you stalking me, sir. And, and to give you advice, if you guys ever been stalked, if you're in a situation where you feel like someone's stalking Call you, that one. make sure you do not go directly home. You better run like the speed of light talking about you going home. They won't follow you. Trust me. Especially so, if you see them like pulling every curve that you are. Yeah. Listen, I need you to go somewhere that's in public. We have a lot of people stalk us before. That's kind of weird. Okay, yeah. we're going to go to the next question. I didn't even answer. Oh. 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 I stalk myself in the mirror, you know? Okay, okay. okay. we went to the next question. Next question. <laughs> Girl. What was it like growing up with your sis? <laughs> okay, so yes. Um. Okay, you like can I give said, your like story of how for both of us, but not too long of a story. And make sure you give me a good story. Make sure to give her a good story. Yes, go I ahead. I thought I was giving you guys a good story. I love my sisters. Let me just say that. <laughs> it was a pleasure growing up with them. <laughs> Tell my guys. <laughs> Let's cut the act. Um, for me, I don't know if their point of view of dragging me was like the um, um, I'm like the youngest out of everybody, and me and the rest of my siblings were not really close in age. Like, as they were growing up, they were growing up together, and it was just me in, in, in the dust. But, like... Now that I'm older, I can say it's better because we're all getting older, so we understand more. But when I was younger, I had to fight for my right. I'm not even gonna lie, she had to fight to know if she had to talk to us crazy. I mean, she still can't, but. For me, um, growing up my sis, I was like, my sister didn't find me. I had anger problems. <laughs> I was like a crazy, crazy. child. She said flip mattresses. Okay. Oh my god. god. The matchup. Hold on. I know y'all want to keep it this way. Beyond. Next question. Beyond, honey. Next question. This is a good one. How do you feel when people say you're cute for a dark skin? Oh, oh god. god. I take it as offense because cute has no shade. All right. You could be white and ugly. You could be light skin and ugly. You could be Asian and ugly. You could be Preach. whatever and ugly. That when part. people tell me that. I don't take that as a compliment. I always question them, what do you mean by that? Exactly. They just can't I... understand how you're so pretty. Because you don't go to a white girl and say, oh, you're, you're pretty, pretty for a white girl. That don't make no that. sense. If I'm pretty, just leave it at that. And you say, so so once you say you pretty as in anything, that means if it wasn't from like seeing me, you didn't. You thought the whole 
group was ugly. Right. Just like when people say, oh, like, you have nice hair for a Haitian. Oh, you Haitian? Like, you want to look Haitian. Like, what is it that supposed to be? It like, me. Just because you say me as a Haitian or as a black girl, I still get offended because I'm within that group. Right. Turn this throw out there. All shades are beautiful to the darkest of the darkest and the fairest of the fairest. Mm -hmm. So you don't have you to cute. let anybody Everybody tell you it's beautiful. cute. Look in the mirror and you know. Say, damn, you fine. Okay. This one, you know, it's about life. What is your dream job? Ooh. Yeah. Well, as for right now, I want to be a neonatal nurse practitioner. Oh. I don't want to share. It's your dream job. My dream, dream job, job, honestly, is to own my own cosmetics line. A black owned. Yeah, that's my dream job. Well, I mean, but it's for everybody. It's for everybody. Right, but for it's just all shades, shades are welcome. Like Monashi said, everyone's dreams is to grow up and just follow your dreams. And um, it just it just seems like it's just like a... Uh, like it's cliche. Like it's just cliche. Yeah. Like you just can't reach it or just like, oh, it's just a, it's a little thing. Era. Just Yeah, just I'll oh, just think about it, but don't really pursue it because people's going to think you're crazy. But that's the point. It took me a while. It did. I perfectly said I want to own my own business. She's I do. Business I want to. FI, she's my business she's partner. My she's my business partner. You want to be up there with Beverly Hills and Juvia's Place and all the Come other on. place. Like I, I want to be up there so you guys can see my name and be like, dang. I remember her saying this is what she wanted to do. Oh yeah, moving along to the next question. Okay, so what inspired you guys, you girls to do makeup? All right, so um, I just want to explain my mom's makeup. So I was always going to her room, digging her makeup and everything like that. That kind of inspired me to um, advance my makeup because my mom used to be like, you guys love makeup so much, so you need to start, you know, spending your money on the higher end products so you can see a change in your makeup. What inspired me to do makeup? Really inspired me? It's because I really wanted to get down, like, how these people do these eyebrows. I'm not about to get left on this bandwagon. <laughs> Let me okay, hop on. I to know, like, perfect my eyebrows and perfect, you know, because I really was not satisfied with the shape of my eyebrows. If you're not satisfied with something, you change it. So, I started with that, and then ever since then, it just kind of, like, skyrocketed. And my sister, Burby, actually the one who introduced me to makeup, because she was actually doing makeup before I was. I'm going to ask the question next. Oh. His next question says, when will you guys start vlogging? Actually, vlogging is my thing because my life is just funny. You guys never just think like, how's everybody else's life going from their point of view? Oh my god, I think about that all the time. Ooh. I don't think about that. But yeah, like, vlogging is my thing and I kind of want to start vlogging like, no. Like, okay, well, we're going to start vlogging pretty soon. That's something that's in rotation already, so, you know, keep it just up. Just keep up with that. Okay. And that's okay. Just keep up with this. How does it feel to live in a Haitian household. Mm. That's crazy. Haitians, like, they're so strict. Well, my parents, Haitian parents are so strict. This girl's spoiled. She does whatever she wants. This little girl, she didn't okay, even so get the, 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 the half she of it. She got the Americanized okay. Haitian household. Okay. I'm confused. She's there. That was me and my sister growing up. Like, we didn't even have to pass along. Look, this is a new in. era. We didn't even have to pass the line that we got invited to any parties, got invited to any You know what we saw? We already know the friends. answer was no. We, exercise, we just said we was busy. I was not about to set myself up and to bring in my hopes so high to go ask my parents for them to say no. no. Let me Are you it, nuts? Let me keep it Brazilian and give y'all some ahead. advice. Okay. Um, you're never going to know what the answer is unless you ask. So ask because the answer might just be yes. You know, like. Right. She's right. I'm just like, ask. She's right. But like, when you're so used to hearing no, you just like, you already. They killed yourself to not even get hurt. You're like, yeah, you know, don't I even guess. ask me yes, because my parents gonna say no. Seriously, like, girl, I could even go on the porch. I went on the porch one time and I saw my friend. My dad literally went outside, yelled. He didn't care who my friends were. And he goes, come inside. You know you're not supposed to you be You know, outside. you have to do the, the accent. Be blown. <laughs> So that's it for this episode of Keeping It Brazilian. I'll go my little sister. My little sister. You feel You feel hey. Make sure you guys tune in next week. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. Look down below for any juicy things like our um, Snapchats, Instagrams, Twitters, anything. Any contact info, just look down below. You guys have a great day. Day, 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 day.